Hi everyone, I'm so glad you could join me today. I am Miss Linda from St. John's United Church of Christ, Nazareth, Pennsylvania. The supplies you will need for today include the printout of Mary and Elizabeth, the two cardboard strips, scissors, glue or stapler, and coloring supplies. For each lesson series, we will have a Bible verse to memorize. For this joy story series, the Bible verse is Psalm 126, verse 3. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Let's take it one part at a time. Repeat after me. Psalm 126, verse 3. The Lord has done great things for us. And we are filled with joy. Great job. In your packet that you received is a ring and two cards. The first card is the title page, my memory verses. And there's a line, you could write your name on the line. You can, if you want to, color in the words or the page. And the second card is the memory verse for this Joy Story series. Psalm 126, verse 3. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. You can color the pictures of your cards. Today, December 6th, is the second Sunday in Advent. Last week, the first Sunday in Advent, Miss Cindy talked about the manger and the baby Jesus and some of the other people in the manger scene. Today, the second Sunday in Advent, we're actually going to back up a little bit and talk about the beginning of the Christmas story. But first, let's watch Cowboy to the Rescue. About you. She cried herself to sleep she was so upset. You don't belong in the office. This place is all of Mandy's dad's important stuff. The computers and tax files and... Freeze, Imperial scum! And 40-year-old space toys her dad keeps on a shelf. Is that you, Buckaroo buddy? Yes, it's me. What are you doing with that four-legged creature? This is Mandy's new favorite toy, Shiloh Dog. Hi, Shiloh Dog. I'm a space pilot, Ham Salad. You are not Ham Salad. Your real name hey, is... Hey, some people prefer the original. Some people prefer the legally allowable parodies. Right, Woody? My name is Buddy Ham. And my name is Ham Salad. Friend of Fluke Skyrunner, boyfriend of Princess Lisa, sworn enemy of Dwarf Raider, and best friend to the cookie monster, Flubica. That never gets old. So, this is Mandy's new favorite toy? You better get him back before he go, back where he belongs. I was just about to do that. She's worried sick about him. I'll give you safe passage back to her bedroom. That's not necessary, Ham. Oh, but it is. You're in the territory of the notorious space gangster, Pizza the Hut. Just help me get the dog home. Right. Sorry, cowboy. Let's get this doggy home. I know Mandy will flip with joy when she sees him, just like John the Baptist. What did you say? I said she'll flip like John the Baptist. It's a story from the Bible. When Mary was told she was pregnant with the baby Jesus, 
she went to tell her cousin Elizabeth who was pregnant with John the Baptist. And the baby inside Elizabeth did a flip when Mary was near? How did you know? Mandy told us the bedtime story. It's how she comforted her, herself when she couldn't find Shiloh Dog. How do you know the story? Are you kidding? Her dad read it to her right here in this office before bedtime. Well, no wonder Shiloh Dog was in here. And no wonder Mandy knows so many good Bible stories. We do more than collect dust in this office. I sure hope Shiloh can remind Mandy of that story. She needs to know that Jesus' love will bring her joy long after she stops finding joy with us. Thank you, Buddy and Ham Salad, for telling us that Jesus' love will bring us joy. The cool thing about action figures, or even Barbies, are that we can play pretend with them. But a problem with them is, many of the items are so small and get lost easily. When we lose them, we may be sad, but when we find them, it gives us joy again. Almost as much as the first time we receive them. Sometimes we get toys for Christmas, but Christmas isn't just about toys. The Christmas story starts before baby Jesus was born. It starts when an angel told Mary she would have a baby and that baby would be special and his name would be Jesus. As soon as Mary heard this joyful news, she went to visit her cousin Elizabeth. Well, Elizabeth was also pregnant with the baby boy to be named John, and his nickname was John the Baptist. When Mary came to visit, John leaped for joy inside Elizabeth's belly because he knew that Jesus was God's son and he knew that nothing was more important than loving Jesus and God. The Bible story of Mary visiting with Elizabeth is found in Luke chapter 1, verse 39 to 45. You can follow along using your Bible if you would like. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to the town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. New toys on Christmas can make us happy for a while. And lost toys that we find again can bring us joy, but the best kind of joy comes from knowing that Jesus loves us. That's the kind of joy that never ends. Today, you can be making your own Mary and Elizabeth puppets. Use the sheet with their pictures, color them, cut them out, and then you can either glue or staple the stick to the back, making sure you leave a handle so that you can move your puppets. I stapled mine because I thought that was easier than gluing and waiting for the glue to dry. And when you're telling the story of Mary and Elizabeth, you can't really make the baby in Elizabeth's belly leap for joy, so that's why I made Elizabeth jump for joy. 
We're going to end our time together today, but before we close with a prayer, let's say the memory verse one more time. Repeat each section after me. Psalm 126, verse 3. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Good job. You can ask your adult to help you memorize this verse. Remember, finding the love of Jesus gives us true joy that never fades. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the love of Jesus and for the joy that never ends. Amen. Be sure to join us next week when Miss, with Miss Dolores to find out if Buddy and Ham Salad managed to get Shiloh Dog back to Mandy's room and also to learn more about Christmas. Have a blessed week. Bye.